What you're saying is extremely misogynistic. Yes. Thank you. Women in the workplace. Yeah, translation, I have been banned from my own conference room so that Jan can talk in secret to all the girls. Oh, sorry, women of the workplace. About what? I don't know. Clothes, me. <sighs> Meredith, I would like you to pretend that you are from Abu Dhabi. Hello. I am ashamed at your naked face. I must cover it with my jacket. You are now sexy in your culture. Oh, some guy exposed himself to Phyllis in the parking lot. Really? Is she okay? Yeah, Bob Vance took her for a walk to calm down. Okay. <sighs> Phyllis, you say? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> what is so funny? Um, I mean, did he even see Pam? Or uh, Karen from behind? <laughs> I'm guessing not. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you think about it. Oh, not really, no. It's disgusting and demeaning. Oh, okay, masters of comedy. A guy dropped his pants. Have you ever been to the circus? Okay. He's back! Ah! Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, you should order milk. Get it? Why do I like Hooters? Well, I will give you two reasons: the boobs and the hot wings. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Bogey at 3 o'clock. Hi. Hey, I'm Dana. Welcome to Hooters. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Hello, Dana. I am Michael, and this is Jim, and we are brothers. Nope. We're not brothers. I'm his boss, actually, and I treat him well. I'm taking him out to lunch because I can afford it, and he can have whatever he wants. Can I just have the ham and cheese? Sandwich. Thanks. And for you? Tell me, Dana, how is your chicken breast? Oh, it's great. It's served with our world-famous wing sauce. Mmm, sounds yummy. I will have a chicken breast. Hold the chicken. Oh. <laughs> Is that what you really want? No, I'm gonna have the gourmet hot dog. Great. Um, I wanted to say that the guys downstairs are thinking about forming a union, and they have some what? good points. A union? Don't get what? hysterical. I'm not... Part of my job is knowing how to talk to women. Let's be rational here. What are the pros? What are the cons? The cons are that everyone will lose their job, Michael. Oh. Everyone. Office, warehouse. What do you think the pros are here? Don't talk to me that way, please. This is a masculine environment. We need to find a place where you feel comfortable. You know where we're going to go? Steamtown Mall. <gasps> His hand in his All hand. right, girls, break it up. You're being infiltrated. Cock in the hen house. Cocks in the hen house. Don't say cocks. Oh. <clears throat> uh, what is your name, my fair lass? Katie. Ah, Katie. Wow, <laughs> look at you. You are, uh, you're like the new and improved Pam. Pam 6.0. Oh, <laughs> look. Oh, hey, no cat fights, you two. I'm against violence in the workplace. So am I. And nobody cares what you think. Doesn't matter. You know what? I love Phyllis. You know what else? I think she is gorgeous. I think she is an incredibly, incredibly attractive person. Come here. Come here, Chris. Come on. Michael, Ma come on. You oh. don't have to worry. I'm not to I'm not, report I'm not worried. to HR. You know what? The only thing I am worried about is getting a boner. Good work today, everybody. In today's fast-paced business climate, it can sometimes be hard to know when a comment or an action crosses the line. Let's take a look at a couple of scenarios and ask ourselves, where is the line? Natural bread. Hey, Marie. Hey, Joe, Mike. Hey, settle a bet. Are you a natural redhead? Oh! Hey, stop the video! 
We go. What? Stop it right there. Stop it right there. That's that girl from that thing. Huh? I banged this girl right here. This That's is, her? Yes, this is the one. You remember? No, the yes. party? You yes. banged her? Right here. You are a well, naughty no, 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 girl. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, oh, hypocrite. Oh. Okay, she is a hypocrite. That is such a scam. Okay. Yes? Yes, I did. Okay. Well, we can talk about okay. that later then. Okay. Right. You are never going to believe this. The girl in the video we're watching, the corporate gave us, Daryl banged her. And he's about 90% sure. A penis, when seen in the right context, is the most wonderful sight for a woman. But in the wrong context, it is like a monster movie. Alien. What are, shut it, shut up. Okay, so what I want to engage us in today is a hardcore discussion about women's problems and issues and situations. Magazines and TV shows and movies portray women as skinny, tall goddesses. Well, look around. Are women like that? No. No, they are not. Even the hot ones aren't really that skinny. So what does that say? That says that you women are up against it and it is criminal. Society doesn't care. Society sucks. I don't even consider myself a part of society. FYI, because I am so angry over all of this. If it were up to me, you ladies would be the fashion models. Yes, Andy. Then the fashion models could come here and work with me. What you're saying is extremely misogynistic. Yes. Thank you. That was not necessary, but I appreciated it. And proves my point. Women can do anything. I'm saying that you're being sexist. No, I'm being misogynistic. That is insane. I'm not being sexist. That, that's, that's the same thing. Yes. When I got my haircut chart, you asked me if I was a lesbian. Because why? Wow, that was one possible explanation as to why you got that haircut. And when we get mad, you always ask us if we're on our periods. I have to know whether you're serious or not. You know something, Dwight? We are not the terrorists. Why don't you just take these women, put them in a burlap sack, and hit them with a stick? Because that's what you're doing. I celebrate these women. They deserve the right to dress as they please. If Pam wants to show more cleavage, she should be able to. I encourage that. Look, it's really simple. We just want you guys to treat us with respect. See? That's what we're talking about. Did you hear that, Dwight? Yes. Did you hear that, Michael? No, Dwight. Respect. R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. All right, everybody. Oh, my God, Pam. Those make you look so ugly. Um, Pam, in order to get hotter, you take glasses off. You're moving in the wrong direction. I don't have my uh, contacts. That's bad. Bounty, I can't even hear you. It's just noise coming out of an ugly scientist. Um, uh, see, we have the entire floor. So this is my kingdom, far as the eye can see. Ah, this is our receptionist, Pam. Pam! Pam, Pam! Pam Beasley. Uh, Pam has been with us um, for forever. Right, Pam? Well, I don't know. If you think she's cute now, you should have seen her a couple of years ago. What? Oh. Any man who says he totally understands women is a fool because they are ununderstandable. There's a wishing fountain at the mall, and I threw a coin in for every woman in the world and made a wish. I wished for Jan to get over me. I wished for Phyllis a plasma TV. I wished for Pam to gain courage. I wished for Angela a heart, and for Kelly a brain. Michael, how can you appreciate women so much but also dump one of them? You mean, how can I be so illogical and flighty and unpredictable and emotional? Well, maybe I learned something from women after all. Yes, I was the first one out. And yes, I've heard women and children first. But we do not employ children. We are not a sweatshop, thankfully. And uh, women are equal in the workplace by law. So I let them out first. I have a lawsuit on my hands. 